Hey guys, what's up? By uh, Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with my next video, and uh, we have a little bit of a break between Wars and Genesis, so I wanted to talk a little bit about ethical upgrading and uh, what that means in kind of the war scene at Clash of Clans right now. These are just my opinions. No, I mean, people aren't going to agree, obviously. It's just kind of what I think is the best way to go about doing things when you're, you know, competing in high-level clan wars. So for people who are in, like, One Hive Genesis and other top war clans that are doing arranged wars, you're kind of forced to do some of these things because if your base is way better offensive-wise than defensive-wise, no opposing clan is going to want you in an arranged war because then you're just kind of a little bit of an exploit um, and it can go as far as being what's considered an engineered base. So typically uh, people in like One Hive Genesis are kind of forced to play by these rules. But this video is for people who are in, you know, clans that aren't doing arranged wars, but you still want to, you know, be able to say I'm doing ethical upgrading, I'm progressing through the game, I'm not really exploiting the system or anything. And uh, this is just my perspective, guys. So I could be wrong and uh, you're free to upgrade as you want. Just want to get that out of the way for people who are writing their you know mean comment right now. But anyway, the point is, uh, these are my thoughts on how you should go about upgrading your offense, your defense, and uh, how you should balance those two out, and how long you should go without dropping new defenses like Inferno Towers, Expos. So we'll talk a lot of specifics in just a moment. First, I want to say real quick that you always hear offense over defense. That's like a common thing people say. And I think that's a little bit, it's kind of a bad wording. The idea is right, but I think that it should be both. You should be upgrading offense and defense, but you're selecting which things to upgrade offensively, which things to upgrade defensively based on the best value for war. So you're upgrading defenses that aren't going to carry a lot of weight at first, but they're going to help you defend. And offensive wise, you're upgrading the best troops for war. If you're, you know, a, a high-level war player, if you're trying to compete in clan wars, that's how you should go about doing it. So it's a little bit misleading to say offense over defense. It's really you're doing both at the same time. You're just selectively uh, choosing what to do for each part of the upgrade, and that's going to help you uh, be competitive in wars without being too uh, exploit without exploiting the system too much. So anyway, um, another basic rule of thumb that I'd like to say is that. If you can three star the mirror of like if you can three star a base that has your level defenses, that's fine. But if you're three starring a base too easily, if it's just you know you're gonna three star even with a plan that's not that good, that's gonna be taking it a little bit too far. You should need a good plan to three star a base that's your level, and uh, that's kind of a good rule of thumb in my opinion to keep your offense and defense. Uh, balanced for the most part. So anyway, I'm going to talk about each kind of town hall level, what to upgrade and how to kind of keep that balanced. People ask me all the time about town hall 8.5. So I'm going to go ahead and address it because I think a lot of people out there are transi transitioning into town hall 9, if you can believe that, because there are people that are still a little bit lower in the game. So anyway, for town hall 8.5, as soon as you hit town hall 9 with the upgrade, I would say don't drop the expos right away. Some people do. But the, the fact is you're still a Town Hall 8 offensive-wise. So as far as offense goes, we'll talk about that first. Focus on the Queen. Get her to level 10. Uh, also do your Hogs, your Valks, and your Lava Hounds, and your Balloons. And that's a lot of Dark Elixir, I know. So that's why you want to be farming almost... That should be almost all you're looking for is Dark Elixir when you become a Town Hall 9. And really a Town Hall 10, but we'll talk about that in a moment. So as soon as you get to Town Hall 9, farm that Dark Elixir, get your Queen to 10. And uh, while you're doing that, at some point, get your Hogs, your Valks, and your Lava Hounds upgraded. Along with your Balloons, the one Elixir troop I think that's most important. I don't want to say Healers because we don't know how Healers are going to be after this update. So we'll see how that works. I would typically say Healers, but... I don't know, guys. We'll see how it works out. So anyway, that's what you want to focus on offensive-wise. I'd say as soon as your queen gets to level 10, drop those expos. And before you... Before, let me back up a second, though. Before you even drop your expos, the first things you want to focus on at pretty much any town hall level are traps. Get those up. They're easy to do. They don't take a lot of time. They don't cost a lot, but they help your base quite a bit. An extra giant bomb can be important. Get the traps up. Get the new defenses up to the level of the town hall uh, previous to you. So get your new uh, defenses at town hall 9 upgraded to the town hall 8 level. So everything on your base, I guess, matches. And uh, once you get that, 
then you can start thinking about doing your Teslas, your air defenses, um, selective defenses like that that really help. And as soon as your queen hits level 10, I'd say you're a true Town Hall 9. You're going to be be able to three star a town hall 8.5 base pretty easily and in that case drop your level one expos and just kind of keep it going as you as you keep upgrading once you get to be you know a mid-level town hall nine you have level 2020 heroes you know the most of the troops upgraded your defenses should reflect that that you should have you know level two expos some of your archer towers maxed out maybe and uh, start to do some of your cannons and wizard towers or something after that so anyway just kind of keep that balance and i think that's really gonna uh, be able to be the most uh, fair for the clans you face as well as rewarding in the fact that you'll kind of finish offensive wise as soon as you finish defensive wise so you have the choice to be able to go up to the next town hall level if you want so anyway that's kind of my thoughts on town hall 8.5 um, once you get to Town Hall 10, once you become a, a, a 9.5, I guess, you should be focusing once again on your troops and your queen. The big troops are bowlers, miners, valks, um, and then your queen. And those are what's big right now. I'm not sure if that's going to change in the future, but I'm sure miners are going to be consistently um, one of the top troops, just looking at the, up the update that's coming out. So anyway, get those uh, troops in the queen Go and try to get your queen to 35. Don't worry about your king. Your king should be 30. I'd say get your queen to 40 before you even touch your king. The queen's more important. But anyway, besides that, on the defensive side, uh, do your traps, do some new defenses, do your Teslas, probably your air defenses, just so you can be a little more confident that you don't have to defend that, uh, when you're doing when you're building your base. You don't have to try to worry too much about air. It's a good way. It's a good idea to get your air defenses up, just so you don't have to worry about that, and uh, then start doing you know wizard towers, that kind of stuff. But um, as far as when you drop your infernos, that's the big thing at Town Hall 10. I dropped mine when I had 30, 30 heroes, probably a little bit too early. I would say get the big troops upgraded, get your Valks, your Miners, your Bowlers, and uh, get your queen to maybe 35, but then get those infernos down because once your queen's 35, once you have all the troops, you're going to be able to three star some Town Hall 10s even with good bases if they only have level 1 infernos and because of that you should get those level 1 infernos to balance it out. I wouldn't go 40-40 or even like 35-35 or 30-40. I wouldn't get to level 70 total in your heroes before you even drop infernos. I think that's taking it a little bit too far but you know it's all kind of a slippery slope so uh, it's, it's your choice but I think the best thing to do is get those infernos down as soon as you're able to start uh, being able to with a good plan three starring some town hall 10 bases that have the level 1 infernos so like I said that's a good rule of thumb always look for your uh, equivalent defensive level if it's too easy to three star you might want to add some weight to your base so anyway that's that for town hall 10 I think for the most part and uh, same thing for town hall 9 is town hall 10 as, as your offense upgrades, upgrade your defense accordingly. Once you have, you know, max heroes, your defenses should be getting close to max, if not, at least mid-level, and uh, try to keep those things a little bit imbalanced. For Town Hall 9 or 10.5, I don't have a whole lot of experience. I would say just kind of keep the same principles. Uh, get that Warden and get your Miners at. That looks like that's going to be the most powerful combination is the Level 4 Miners and the Grand Warden. So get that uh, Warden going as soon as you can and get the Miners to Level 4. And probably once the Warden is Level 5 and your Miners are maxed out, go ahead and drop the Eagle at least to Level 1. And uh, that should be a pretty fair thing to do uh, as a Town Hall as a town hall 11 so anyway those are just my thoughts kind of on each town hall level if you need more specifics i'll try to answer some comments uh for your specific situation if i can get around to them because people might have you know questions specifically for town hall 8.5 or 9.5 or whatever that i didn't address in this video but i think overall it's just important to remember that uh, not only is it kind of ethical in my opinion to upgrade your defenses pretty close to how your offensive level is but it's going to give you the option to go to a new town hall level because honestly it does it's not the best idea to go to town hall 10 for example when you don't even have max town hall 9 defenses and uh, at that point you're getting a little bit borderline engineering now i don't want to get too much into the engineering talk but i'm i think supercell needs to put some kind of fix out there because uh 
we're seeing a lot and more and more engineered bases that are purposely having very, very low level defensive weight and very high level offensive weight to give them a big edge in clan wars. And yeah, guys, I know that's been around since basically the start of clan wars. You've always had the option of doing that. But with modding, you know, not quite as common anymore. We're seeing people use that as a way to get a leg ahead in war. And uh, everybody has the option of doing it is technically fair play, at least under the terms of service. But I think that it's not going to get you very far in the top war community because in arranged wars, no one's going to want an engineered base uh, being one of the bases they have to face. So we'll see how things shape up. Uh, we have an you know, update coming out pretty soon uh, that's going to deal with some balancing. So hopefully the big update that's probably going to come out in like September or October can uh, address some of these issues. But we'll see how Supercell handles it. Uh, I know people are going to tear down Supercell in the comments, but let's try to try to see what they do because they have uh, kept this game going for quite a while. You gotta you gotta appreciate that because if you're watching this video, it means you still at least play or at least care about the game. So they've done something right. Anyway, though, thanks for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, I'll answer some specifics in the in the comments if you want, and uh, we'll just uh, see how that goes. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye, Sectatrono.